get ready for another most awaited battery life drain test. As we put, the iPhone XR, SE2, iPhone XS Max, iPhone 11, 12 and 13 and as well as iPhone SE3 to their passes after the latest iOS 16.6 update. As this device will be pushed to its limits as we uncover which iPhone offers the perfect blend of power and endurance and which one might leave you searching for the nearest charger of the latest iOS 16.6 update. After testing all the iPhone models on iOS 16.6, I will be updating them to the latest iOS 17 version and then I will be comparing the pair to life on both iOS updates. So before updating your iPhone to the latest iOS 17, just make sure to watch both videos once. So get ready to make an informed decision before you take the plunge into the world of iPhones. Who will drain supreme? Let's find out right here. Now before starting the test, the brightness is to almost 50%, we have updated them to the latest iOS 16.6 and at the end, I will be showing you the battery health of each iPhone model but first, let's try all these applications each for one hour. So sit back, just enjoy the music, relax and I'll be right back within few minutes. Welcome back, we are done with the battery life train test after the latest and greatest iOS 16.6. Now let's talk about the battery health of each iPhone model. So the iPhone XR were first to die right after 5.5 hours with 82% battery health. I would say it's not that bad. I mean it's almost 5 years old model but still on a single charge with around 80% battery health you will get around 6 hours battery life with heavy usage while it would be around 7 hours with normal use it. The iPhone SE 2 with 95% battery health give up at 5 hours and 37 minutes which did a stunning job because of 95% battery health and also the iOS 16.6 is quite safe for the SE 2020 in terms of battery life. The SE 2020 which is also known as SE 3 wasn't that good I mean if you compare it with the SE 2 which is almost 3 years old but still perform very similar with with 2023 model with 95% battery health, we got 5 hours and 40 minutes battery life. The Tennis Max give up its 6 hours and 19 minutes with 86% battery health, which is still the best budget iPhone. And this is the reason it still gives quite decent battery life even after 5 years of 
release. The iPhone 12 with 85% battery health ended up with 6 hours and 30 minutes. I would say it's quite fair as having 85% battery health, you can get 7 hours screen time on iPhone 12, which is really, really great. On the iPhone 11, we got 8 hours battery life which was neck to neck with iPhone 13 and the reason behind this insane battery life is we have 100% battery health which is almost brand new. If you can get iPhone 11 series with 100% battery health in 2023, it will just amaze you just like that. Well, the winner of this battery life drain test of is iPhone 13 which ended up at 8 hours and 10 minutes even with 89% battery health iPhone 13 would last a whole day without keeping it on charging again and again. So that's it, the straight for the US 17 was the US 16 battery life comparison which will be uploaded by tomorrow and I hope that will definitely clear your confusion regarding the battery life on US 16 and US 17. Also let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.